All right, so what is our concept of salvation, right? So this goes back to this verse, right? Boom, you're here, you'll be given guidance, follow it, and you'll be happy, deny it, and you have consequences. So salvation is basically, number one, is the mercy of Allah, right? You given, being given guidance, you know, having the, you know, facilitated to accept guidance, everything is under the mercy of Allah. If Allah were to hold us accountable for one of our eyes and say, look, what did you do with that, right? Were you thankful enough for even one eye? None of us would be able to. That's why eventually success is under the mercy of Allah and it's not something we earn, but we try to earn. Okay, one thing that is not forgiven, right? One thing that is not forgiven is polytheism, right? So someone not acknowledging Allah as the owner, as the Lord, as the creator, as the complete owner, the king, so on and so forth, either not acknowledging at all or thinks that yes, Allah is, but that other person also has a share in it, okay? That is not forgiven, why, okay? Because it's such a basic thing from the wisdom of Allah that if you don't have it, then you're not from the people of paradise, right? Just like any other university, any organization, any profession, you have some basic ethics, right? If you don't have those things, you really cannot belong to that university, you really cannot belong to that profession. Likewise, this is the only thing. Uh, third thing around salvation, everybody is born in a clean state, right? You do, you do not have any sins that you accumulate until you reach the age of puberty, which is when you're able to make a conscious choice of what to do and what not to do. When you're able to discern and judge and distinguish between good and bad. Uh, other things that clean your sins and your disobediences are true repentance. Did we see an example of true repentance so far? There you go. Okay, so true repentance would clean away your sins regardless of what they are. Uh, patience on painful decrees, right? So you got sick, right? You got harm, you lost a job, you were emotionally hurt. All these things also cleanse your sins, okay? Uh, good deeds erase the bad deeds, okay? Uh, the concept of that every good deed that you do, Allah multiplies them by 10 times, and each bad deed is counted only once. And, uh, yeah, so this is basically the uh, essence of things that cleanse and, you know, cause salvation. Okay. So, so far, so good. Any questions? I'm going to unlock my water. Yeah. Um, how do you define true repentance? Good. So, true repentance is someone who's sincere, who realizes that what he did was wrong, right? He went against the rights of Allah, and he's sincerely sorry for that, and he wants to basically have a firm determination to not do it in the future. He may still do it, right, because we are human beings, but he's like sincerely really wanting to not do it. Not just like, you know, a verbal one, yeah, oh, I'm sorry, right? It's deeply, really sorry to Allah. Mm -hmm. um, when you, when earlier, when you spoke about Adam eating the, of the tree, and you said he made a, he made a mistake, um, like we all make mistakes, what, um, is that the same thing as committing a sin, or is it different? Yeah. What is like a what is a sin? Is it yes. is it like a rebelling against Allah's guidance, or is it just a mis like mistake, like like how I might like trip as a human over right. like a, tr a, a root or something like that? Is it different or right? So so a, a sin would happen for various reasons, right? So one is a conscious sin, right? Like you know you knew it and you did it, right? And then within those sin, I mean if you go into deep, you you have a uh, distinction between major sins, something that's like really, really big deal, versus, you know, minor sins, right? And uh, a misstep or an error would be something like, you know, you did it accidentally. You didn't knew, but you just did it accidentally, right? Uh, or you forgot, right? It's so forgetfulness. And these things, these small steps, these small errors are automatically forgiven, right? So let's say, you know, Right now, you know, there's a prayer time. We pray five times a day, right? So let's say we were not in the masjid and we were in a library and we were having this, you know, discussion and the time of prayer comes in and I just like forgot about the prayer, right? I just like physically, humanly forgot about the prayer. So that is like not accounted against me, right? Because I forgot, right? Or like things like, you know, I wanted to wake up for the morning prayer, 
you know, I'm not just like watching Netflix all the, all the night. You know, I go to bed properly, I had my alarm, and then I just couldn't wake up, physically couldn't wake up, right? And so that's a, you know, a mistake, an error, right? So that's also like forgiven, like it's not accounted for you or against you, right? Is that, so when you, is that what Adam did then? No, no, so Adam was a, a conscious sin. Conscious sin. Yeah, it's a conscious sin, right? Conscious. He, yeah. Uh, but it's forgiven, right? And actually. But here's an interesting point, right? Sometimes you may make a sin, right? And after repentance, you become a better person. You, I mean, you become closer to Allah than how you were before, right? An example of that would be like, obviously, the, no, none of the examples are like related to Allah, but just for an understanding, right? So you may have like a wife, right? And you go through some hard times, right? And after that, your bond even becomes stronger. Right? You have more trust, you have more faith, and so on and so forth. So after a sin and a, your true repentance, you can actually become closer to Allah than what you were before. Mm -hmm.